Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to play a beep sound with the help of your Windows Form application. In this video, I will show you how to play a audio file with the help of your Visual C++ Windows Form application. So what what I'm going to do is I, I will choose a file which will be a audio file from my computer and I will display in this text box and when I press this play audio file the file will play so for on the coding part what I have done is I have taken one text box whose name is text box one I have taken a button and I renamed it renamed it as choose file and I have taken a other button called play audio file and now what I have done is I have double clicked this button and in here I have written the code for opening a file dialog so write open file dialog and this cap sign open file dialog variable name gc open file dialog and then copy this variable here and arrow pointer show dialog bracket and bracket closed and this is the name of my text box which is this text box text box 1 arrow pointer text is equal to this variable once again pointing to the file name so what this will do is whatever file we will select from our open file dialog it will be printed in our text box okay so this button will do that now on the part of playing the audio file we will use this button just select this button double click it and here I have taken a try catch block so if we have uh, we will face some problem for example if you select a file which will not be a audio file then it will catch your error and show you show you a message box in the form of error so in this try block what you have to do is first you need to declare a sound player which is in the system media library so system double colon media double colon sound player and this small cap symbol and this is our variable name is equal to gc new system double colon media double colon sound player so we declared our sound player this is the declaration of our sound player and this is the variable of the sound player in the next line what you have to do is you have to take the text from the text box and give the location to the player so write this variable player arrow pointer sound location is equal to text box 1 which is your this text box and arrow pointer text so this will provide the location to the player that you have to play a sound from this location now in the third line write play arrow pointer load so this will load your player and one more line you need to add is this line player arrow pointer play sync okay so this is the code for playing the sound if you require you can just pause the video and 
copy this code and now let's try to run the program run okay so I will choose the file from this this will open a dialog box and from here I will choose this check mail audio file which is dot wav extension okay so I am choosing dot wav file and now when I press this button it should play that sound so let's see have you checked your email this morning have you checked your email this morning have you checked your email this morning so it plays the selected file with the audio player so in this way you can play any sound which is compatible with this visual studio and then use it into your code so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now